We're live. Let me pull the chat up. No, that's what I got to do, too. Shoot. I hit no live event instead of... <laughs> Hang on. Let me go let my aminals in. I had just let them out. Hang on one sec. Hey, my cat Diesel. Hello, Yabba. What's the topic? It's the Michael Dunn Jordan Davis case. Hey, buddy. Laced with Lacey, Farmer, Ange. Stewie Motherfucker Griffin. Oh, I love that name. I do too. Why can't we have, we need to have, we need to change our names, have fun names. I know it. Like that right? junior Guzman rabbit hole is horrible, isn't it? I'm telling you, yeah. the more I watch, the more pissed off I get. Hi, Jenny. Yeah. Uh, hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. Jenny, Jen, Jen. Poppy, Cassidy. That's all right, Tilly. You just blessed. I am her famer, but Bodie. The yeah, that junior Guzman. It's got me just. Yes. Uh, Sandra, just Sandra. Hey, bless me. Stephanie with too many eyes. It does break my heart. Let me tell you, if I was that mom, now I, I saw a video this morning that uh, number 11 has been now arrested in Junior Guzman's case. The, the original eight guys. I still can't find out if the girlfriend, that girlfriend that got it all started, has been arrested yet. As far as I know, they the guy that was getting out of the front seat of that white car, he had a bun on top of his head. He uh -huh. was arrested. He turned himself in. But you know what? He said he wasn't going to turn his. Is he the one that said it's it's good to be here? Hey, oops. She hasn't. Yeah, that's what. But um, was he the one that said he wasn't going to turn himself in until he got the right guy? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's one or not. Hey, Uber. Hey, Izzy. Um, I, I don't know, but he already had an attorney. He's already been arraigned, and he's also been charged with first-degree murder. They ain't playing with these kids. They are not playing. I'm an eye for an eye person, and if that was my kid, I would want them sliced and diced. I'm telling you, I would, and I'd want to watch it. Yep. Because I am. I'm a little morbid. Emily? Me too. I, it's... It's killed me, and hey, Dale, I, I don't know. That one's bothered me, and I think, like I said in my video, it's because you see every aspect of it, and you see everybody like, go, da, da. Yeah. Know? But, and I, I imagine they were afraid. Hey, love fair. Hey, Monkey oh. Moo. They put his funeral. Yeah, I, I, I didn't watch the whole thing, but y'all know I had to look up some of it. Yeah, I saw the uh, funeral, uh, Yabba. And who was that lady, uh, something B? Uh, uh, she's a, a singer or something that paid for his funeral, the entire thing. She paid for the whole thing. What's her Cardi name? Cardi, Cardi B. B. That's it. That's it. You know, I don't know no singers. I don't listen to hardly any music. I'm a loser. You're not. <laughs> I know she immediately went and put eight thousand dollars in their um their GoFundMe. Oh wow, that's amazing. Paula. That is amazing. But uh, Uber today was the first day I didn't get to see it when it was live. But your story time, I can't wait to show those to uh, Excuse me, my grandbaby can't say the name because Lord knows people are psychos on here. But um, I wonder if she would like it because you know she's so. I swear I think she's 88 HD some days. Hey, Lens. But I bet she would like those. It was really cute. Really cute. I was 20,000 her go for me. Uh, 200,000. That is amazing. Yeah, and they were only asking for just, just enough to pay for the funeral. The family, absolutely. And I wonder uh, if, the, if they'll be suing the city. 
I wonder too. Or the I guess store owner. See, I wonder too, and I think the store owner needs to be held accountable. In the beginning, I didn't. Good puppy. Um, when I saw the store owner walking behind them after they were pulling that kid out of the store. When I saw that video, I thought, you motherfucker, you are just as liable. You did not protect him. What store owner do you, we are a store owner, not like that kind of store owner. I have a gun on me at all times. My husband has a gun on him in his pocket at all times. He also has other guns. Do you think for one second he didn't have a gun under that counter? Come on. Right. A gun is always going to win a knife fight. Isn't that what you said the other day, Randy? Yes, I said if you, when you bring a, a knife to a gunfight, you don't win. And like I've said before, if he was, if they were robbing his store, he'd have pop shot at them. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It makes me sick. Dustin, we're, we, we have topics, honey. Making him go out there to get slaughtered. Right. I and was, you know, they lured him out with some bullshit story. Hey, Evelyn. Makes me sick. Hey, happy looks. Hey, hey. Slot rock. That was. Mm. Can y'all hear beat up in the background? He's so mm -hmm. loud. Yeah, hang can... He's on the phone. Just a... da, 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 da. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass off the phone. We're they getting ready. To, uh, well, we are not getting ready. They are getting ready. I will be the one out there handing out bottled water and canned beer for them if they want it. Um, digging up the pool deck. Y'all, our exactly. pool looks like a nightmare. If I knew this would, would reach out there, I would go out there and show y'all the pool. You know, the liner is pulling away. So we're getting a new liner and everything. But there's two snakes in our pool right now. And there's only probably six inches of water left in the deep end. There's no water in the shallow end. It's Thank you, Evelyn. I appreciate that. Um, and with the back where the diving board is, the, it's sunk in. So we're having to dig that up, take the concrete away, because that's the most expensive part. So we're going to do that work ourselves. And then somebody's coming in to re-pour it. And I swear, I'm so afraid one of the dogs are going to fall in. Even Jim Dean hadn't fallen in yet, but I'm waiting. Jim, my bang. Jim, my bang. They don't even get near it. It's just the weirdest thing. It's like they know better. Okay, so. Thanks to you, but I hate them. Did everybody, who all did their studying up on um, this Jordan Davis, Michael Dunn? Hey, Jenny. I can barely. Thank you, Ricky. I haven't done much today. Pigs can swim. Iridium. That's <laughs> my husband tells me that all the time. He said, just watch when we get out there swimming, because hopefully by the end of this month, it'll be swim ready. It'll be, you know, fresh liner, fresh everything, and we'll yep. be swimming in it. I will try to pick his big ass up and put him in there. I will. Hi, Laura. Hi, listen. Okay. He said he called 911 twice. Y'all know they released 911 calls. There has been no 911 calls released. No. Let's keep in mind, everybody, we I now know. live in a society where people would rather record him being slashed, record him bleeding out, instead of calling 911. The one yeah, I was. That's, that's true, yeah. About, At least until Labor Day. We should be able to swim in the south. It'll still be in the upper 80s. Yeah, Randy talked about that, said, you know, like the people in the upstairs apartment that was recording. Absolutely. Not. Being, Nurse Joey, we are going to talk about that. The Caitlin Davis. Do what? Somebody wants us to talk about Caitlin Davis. Caitlin Davis. How do I not know that one? You do not. Caitlin Davis. Oh, yes. Oh, that one breaks my heart. Oh, Ash, right. Vita, how many, uh, what are those tadpoles? How many tadpoles are in our pool right now in six inches of water? How many do you think? Billy <laughs> he said enough to open up a bake shop. It's pitiful. The frogs, the snakes, what else is living down there? 
Turtles. Turtles. Oh, I forgot the turtles. We got one turtle that's about that big round of big old snapping turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Swim pools are fucking great. Yeah, Ash. I know. Um, well, yeah. I watched that video not too long ago because Yabba texted me. She said, what are you doing? I said, no, I'm watching a suicide video. You know, the usual for me. That was one of the hardest things to see. I know, but I watched it too. I know, I see it. I, I can't stay. One year, though, um, there was so many. We didn't keep it clean in the winter. We'd shut our pool off, and there was so many frogs and tadpoles, and then I shocked the shit out of it, so it killed them. Y'all, I am not oh. exaggerating. The entire top of our pool, and we have a big pool. It's a T-shaped, you know, in-ground pool, so that like the shallow end, is as big as most pools and we got it like that because our kids were really small when we first put it in the entire pool the entire top looked like it had a film over it it was dead tadpoles it was the most disgusting and I'll, i'm definitely afraid of frogs so if i see one hopping around my toes curl up and i freak out i hate them so yeah i can't stand them they're everywhere yeah, we need to, because uh, it, it's the year anniversary. Is it December the 28th or the 29th when she, when, uh, when she hung herself? I don't know. It was sometime around Christmas. It was cold outside, so it's been over a year now. But I want to look more like the, the guy that she was, because, you know, they're trying to blame um, some guy that she was talking to online. But there's enough videos on YouTube to see what her life was like. Yeah, some guy from up north that was much older than her. Yeah. <laughs> Is he coming in? Oh, Sandy Law, that's okay, my darling. We're going to lay down the back door. Oh, yeah. We're, we're still talking about Junior Guzman. It, Sorry, um, y'all. You don't want to stay on topic? We just started. Ever. ever. <laughs> he is so weird. Swear to God. Y'all, we, the first month that we don't have the shop, let me tell you something. 29 years, the 15th of, when is the 15th? We don't have, we don't have time to do anything because we're really busy. <laughs> the 15th will be married 29 years if we make it to year 30 yeah. it'll be a miracle because <laughs> we'll be around each other every day <laughs> last year when you done that video showing your your wedding album you're gonna have to put that back up hey texas farmhouse that is the funniest thing I, on our anniversary i'll put the picture up on twitter Huh? No, the best picture was the Lee Press on nail picture. Oh, I thought it was the end of the day. It's my bad. <laughs> I hate him. I hate his guts so much. <laughs> God, I hate his guts. Can you please go to work? Something. There's got to be something to do somewhere other than me. I here. don't know that we haven't done um, a Casey Anthony stream, have we? I don't think so. Thank you, Sandy Law. You're so sweet. You're the one that's beautiful. Billy said, "All right, much of a strength." He said, Bi uh, "Bitch is guilty. That ain't much of a strength." <laughs> it, it ain't. But I, what I think will make well, we're investigators. Me and Randy are going to the academy. We're going to be police detectives, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I watched a YouTube video. This guy made a video about Junior Guzman. He said, "Guzman." He said, "You can't listen to YouTubers. We're not investigators." I thought. Speak for yourself. The, the hell we're not. They don't know who they're talking about. Hey, Miss Petri Dish. Thank With you, With your 127,000 subs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Can we please, real quick, talk about um, DramaCon? Let me tell y'all. No. I don't want to I've already told B Dub, listen to me, y'all. We have a, what is that thing called? A timeshare. And it's based on point systems. So we can use it anywhere we want to. And 
So I get on there and I look for that day in Myrtle Beach and I can get one, y'all. Uh, yeah, B-Dab said he's not going, but I, <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> oh. Billy said drama con. That's goddamn shit stupid. <laughs> it is, look, she even texted me that, that we could go and I ignored the text. I'm not even responding. <laughs> I just figured you was busy. <laughs> it's starting to thunder here. Beat up said Jim may be ready for you to leave for a while. <laughs> Evelyn Shelton, I don't think she's guilty. Hold up. You don't think who's guilty, Mary? I know you might fix to say that you think Casey Anthony's innocent when her parents <laughs> don't even believe her. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cassie, well, are you from there? I think she changed it to Florida now. Oh, well, well, I can get one there too. Oh, Darley Routier. Oh, we, we're going to definitely have another Darley Routier stream as soon as they get through with this thing on um, this special. Oh, yeah, because me and Randy feel very different about Darley. Hey, Cassandra. We um, feel we're just the opposite. What I think would make a good stream is the um hi Kimberly. The hey, uh have you seen what her parents do that interview? Casey Anthony's parents yes, do that interview. I, I watched it. I had recorded it, I think. Yeah, I'd recorded it on uh my DVR and watched it, I think last weekend. Yeah, I had to buy it, but I now I own it. I can watch it whenever. But um, what we should do is before the shop is sold in what it be the middle of September when we have to get out, there. we it's on four acres. We ever and we had there's a bathroom, there's a shower upstairs. We should camp out there. We can <laughs> be done. Jesus Christ, really? Mm -hmm. I just I just invited it's everybody. A day. It's a day. <laughs> I'm like Mississippi. I'm I gotta go. I'm gonna go get my ice, my old lady ice pack, and I'll be right back. And then we'll <laughs> hey, Susie. Hey, Dan. There is no case for goodness sake. Michael Dunn was a racist, and he killed Jordan over the music. Case closed. A freaking men. How many of y'all, when y'all was 16, 17 years old, drove around with your buddies with the music blasting? We had a loop here, and where we looped around and we had the music right uh wide open like freaking rednecks that we are hey farah y'all if he is going to this is why i don't like to stream when he's home because he cannot shut up he's in the background the whole time with his little smart ass comments and uh, he's y'all about to see some dv okay y'all this is when you know you're old when you own one of these <laughs> <laughs> and this is when you know you're poor. No, <laughs> I have a Dr. Topper. No, she fucked up her knee. It's like twice the size of the oh, other come one. B yeah. <laughs> Dub don't feel sorry for you. He said, Come on. I'm sucking <laughs> it up, B Dub. I wore a leg brace and I'm icing it. So no, at work, they don't they had to stand directly on concrete. They don't have those squishy mats for them. I do. Oh, shut up. I've been doing it for I did not feel sorry for you, Bay Dudney. Shut up. <laughs> he said, let pain be your friend. <laughs> he tells me that all the time. It has to be my friend. He said he's been married to pain for 29 years. Y'all are about to see a fight. You got two he's of them, Cole Mine and <laughs> There is at least <laughs> Dr. Topper. That was more stuff that you can go into. I just want to do something. I never <laughs> let my I never get to drink Cokes. And whenever I tell tell Timber to pick up, I said, I'm gonna splurge and have it Dr. Pepper. She gets Clover Valley Dr. Topper. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Shauna. It is nice to come I'm addicted to coke, so I can't say anything. What does it taste the same? It does. What is it? Uh, Dr. Topper, Clover Valley, Dr. <laughs> Topper. <laughs> y'all, I'm fixing to kick him out. I, I, I the, have have y'all has he been quiet the whole time yet? No, 
every oh. time we say something, Mr. Parrot there has got something to say. Tilly, you want to you want to know why it's Dr. Topper and not Dr. Pepper? Because Timber bought it. You notice as your kids, when they have to spend their own money, they get cheap. Since he's busy talking, here you go. I'm I'm busy. I'm trying to multitask here. <laughs> What I'm beer and surfing Facebook all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Nobody knows where you work. <laughs> yeah, really. Shut up. That's, that's classified information. It is classified. <laughs> we don't want nobody to know about the car wash. Oh, he's crazy. Is Diane here? Because Diane watched this too. Diane said, I still drive with my music blast and let someone tell me to turn my music down. Go ahead and drive me. <laughs> Diane said that. All right, let's just jump right into it. How many think that if the boys in the SUV was white, if you think he that they were white, nobody would have got killed? Put a one in the chat. Oh, uh, I'm gonna definitely put a one because I absolutely think it was he was racist as a you know what. Pop Rat said, get to that pool, be dub. <laughs> Jenny, you're so sweet. I hate that pool. He does hate the pool. I hate it too some days when I have to go clean it out. That's right. What See, everybody what, thinks that. I know it was in Florida. Hi, Vicky. It was outside of Orlando, wasn't it? I don't remember now. I've only watched it 17 times and can't remember the city. I didn't. I usually write notes, but I didn't have my notebook out writing notes. You think so, Ash? I didn't write notes either. Oh, absolutely, huh? Kimberly. Uh-huh. Well, by Zachar, Zachar Obey, get the hell out. <laughs> you obviously clicked on it, you dumb fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose the dumbass now. <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs down it as you go. <laughs> I just got you. I'm going to let Billy, I'm going to let B-Dub read your text. Hang on. <laughs> Tell him to read it out loud. Tell him to read it out loud. He is dying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, why would you think he would do something like that? <laughs> because um, him and Jim are uh, separated. <laughs> that, that's one of those things that me and Jim are very well aligned. <laughs> he said, that's one of those things me and Jim are very well aligned to. Yes. Y'all have no idea how much our husbands are like, too. It's almost crazy. It, it's scary. You can. So... Do y'all think he politely said, hello, sir, <laughs> will you please turn down your music? <laughs> you know he was an asshole and probably cussed him at the same time. And if I was that 17, 18-year-old kid, I'd have said, fuck you, motherfucker. <clears throat> turn it up louder. That that In, in my 17-year-old mind, that's exactly what I would have done. Hey, Mort, exactly. Exactly. Mort, and the one little boy in front, they did turn it down. And then Jordan was like, no, you know, no way. Turn it up. Turn it up. But what I, base house, bring your bathing suits, y'all. Exactly. Exactly. But here's the thing. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Y'all not can't read do something. I know. I, I did that oh. too. If I can't read enough, I lose my train of thought. Also, do y'all believe, I think he was kind of drunk. They never got to the bottom of exactly how much he drank. And then their <laughs> drunk asses stopped at the, at the supermarket or the gas station to get wine because their family said, DramaCon 2018 will be at B's house. Bring your bathing suit, y'all. <laughs> Absolutely, two in staff. Absolutely. Yes. 
you would have turned the music down. So Vicky, you're you're telling me as an American citizen, you're sitting there and you're listening to music in your own vehicle as loud as you want to listen to it because it's your vehicle and someone asked you to turn the <laughs> music down because they can't think. He said, I'm, I can't think. And you would have said, okay. I do, I Mary. Horrible. I have a horrible mouth. Uh. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> My cat, Diesel, says, I love how they says Asshole. Teen exactly. Teenage boys aren't going to. Now, now, listen, granted, if you're from where I'm from, you might. You might. He was drunk, and he thinks he's the boss, and no punk-ass kids are going to speak to him that way. And let me tell y'all something. He called them, he said, that thug music. He called them thugs. And just in case y'all don't know, that is the new N-word. You don't call somebody that. And he thought that they had, that he had something in his he had a right he thought that he had a rifle or something there was nothing in the car that even not even an umbrella that would resemble that because the cop even showed him the detective showed him pictures of the items inside the car there was nothing like that and why did he have to fire off four more shots as they were driving away and if he was so innocent and did nothing wrong why did he um leave the scene and have to be found because his tag was on the surveillance video. You know, if he was so innocent, why and, you know, felt like he did it by the book, excuse me, did it by the books, then why, why did he leave? I know too, and Steph, he's driving yeah, me crazy. You don't call people that nowadays. You absolutely don't. Not, no. And, okay, so, I didn't either, Vavodi. I didn't buy that at all. I think he just used that. That was his excuse to be an asshole, to just absolutely murder a kid. Well, and I think, okay, they said the only thing that Jordan had in his hand was a cell phone. That's it. Cell phone. Now, could he have panicked? No, he thought, uh-oh, I've done ran my mouth. I'm in a different place. Maybe he thought he saw something. I don't know. It's inappropriate for them to push it back against authority figures. That yeah, that's what teenagers do. Yeah, I've got an eleven-year-old granddaughter. She pushes back, you know, against authority figures, and it only gets worse as they get older. It's just the way it is. Oh yeah, if if you're joking around with friends, you know, whatever, and your friend accepts it, you know, that's that's up to them. But everybody, I mean, he said no. I said ramp cramp. I said ramp cramp. He did not. He said thug music. His his girlfriend blasted him all over the place. She cut him and no the, slack. And when he was already, it was before the um, when they went back for a retrial. It was the recorded phone conversations to me that sealed his yeah. fate on being a racist piece of crap you know, with the stuff that he was saying there, that to me spoke volumes. Yep, Even more than the trial, just those few sentences spoke volumes. Yep. He did not have show any remorse whatsoever for killing a 17 year old little boy. No remorse at all. Right. He thought his whiteness was a guarantee to getting off. He didn't think the cops would take a real look at it. Once he told his story, he was confident he wasn't even going to be arrested. As you are that it, exactly, Ash. It, that that sums it up right there. He thought he could talk his way out of it, and being calm, cool, and collected, they would believe everything they said. Not only did he leave the scene, he had the nerve to say in his interview, "Y'all have to pardon me. I've only had a few hours of sleep." What? So you can kill right. somebody? You can shoot somebody, you can go to a motel, you can eat pizza, you can go to sleep and be fine with yourself. You can blame a 17 year old boy because you shot him how many times? You kept shooting into the vehicle. But let me ask y'all this, who else wanted to strangle his dumb looking girlfriend when she gets up there and he says, they say, raise your right hand and she's all shaking and raises her left hand 
And then she's up there. <laughs> so I said, what? Why did y'all stop at the store? Sing in some wine. <laughs> yes, he was shocked. He said, this is what he said. You know, this sounds serious. Do I need to maybe be calling a lawyer? You dumb son of a bitch. You just killed somebody, a baby, a little boy. Never. I think this, he never once asked if he had hurt anybody. He never once asked. He got, they, he they, saw it on the news that morning. I know, but that's what I'm saying. But to the cops, yeah. he never once asked. He knew he did it. The cops still had not told him yet in the beginning of the interview. They were, they were uh, questioning him about the shooting. Choke her down. Never one right. time did he act concerned that he could have injured, not to mention killed a kid. Didn't care. Didn't care. Stressful for her. If she had took her skirt wearing ass back to the hotel <laughs> because of their puppy, they wouldn't even have been in this position. And her up there. And did he ever mention a weapon to you? No. I'd have been like. <laughs> No, he didn't care. He and oh, and believe me, seen the bar oh. man, She goes and sees him in the uh, penitentiary. Not she now. Is, she, oh, she, she broke up with him. She is. When did that happen? So, okay, this happened in two thousand fourteen, and then twelve. Two thousand twelve. Then he was retried in two thousand fourteen. Yeah. And uh, so, when yeah. did she break up with him? I don't know. It just at the end of one of the shows I watched, it said she has now moved on. Wow. But Bodie, I think she was nervous, but I don't know her. It's the way that she acted. Hey, Kathy. The way that she acted we like have Heather. Yeah, we have uh, Heather. It's been a while. Kind of after it first happened, we talked Listen, about Kanika. I know there's a I've lot that's come to. I've been watching a lot of tarot readings and psychics on that case. I will get back with you on that. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> I mean, so weird. <laughs> hey, Cat Sixty Five. Thank you, Jenny Jen Jen. I think she dumped him before. No, she didn't dump him till after the trial. After he got convicted, she was like, "See ya." Yeah, you gonna die? Oh, I you ain't, ain't gonna come visit. Out. Bye. Bye. Yep, I need a man to pay for my shit. That's right. Got to get my box of wine out of the supermarket. <laughs> That's right, Randy P. I'm okay. That's right. <laughs> hey, Patrice. So weird. <sighs> I thought would be convicted. Really? Oh, good where luck. From, from where he's from, Patrice? Or from where the, the boy died? Or she talking about Kanika. Oh, oh. He appeared emotionless. I completely agree with that. I had a dream that I found my tarot cards. That's how much tarot I've been reading. I mean, watching on YouTube. That's funny. Hey, I'm not down in box <laughs> wine. I know I don't get to drink. But I'm saying it seemed like all she got was a box of wine or a, a bottle of wine. And her stupid... The black community. The gal did the black community didn't think anybody would get convicted in the Jordan Davis case. See, I'm telling you what. Usually just Google Jordan Davis or Michael Dunn. Yeah, either one. You can watch more, the trial. more comes up under Jordan Davis, in my opinion, than Michael Dunn. Like his trial and stuff like that comes up. But more of the interviews with the parents, the 2020 interview, all that comes up under Jordan Davis. Right, zigzag. Listen, can y'all say right now, Jim shoots somebody, and I'm like, Jim, don't you call the cops because I got to go check on the new puppy at home. Charlie. I'm sorry. Piece of shit. And the, what was it, his daughter? that they interviewed and uh, and the neighbor talking about how good of a person he was, there is no way in hell he just snapped. That was no snapping. Uh -uh. That was a racially prejudiced asshole that Coffee. could not stand teenagers, especially black teenagers, period. 
that thought I mean, he had the right. I can say if he if 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 the music's hurting your head, and you might say, "Would y'all mind turning that music down?" But for him, you know what he did was he said, "Turn that down." I can't even think. That's probably oh, yeah, exactly how he said it. And then his little whiny voice, and he said, "You're not going to talk to me like that and shoot some." Patrice, exactly. Dunn thought he was George Zimmerman and thought he was going to get away with it. Yeah, he absolutely did. And it being in Florida, down in that area, he was calm, cool, and collected. He just knew he got away with it. He makes me sick. And I'm telling you, I hope he gets his ass beat every single day in prison. I do. I just hope somebody beats his ass every day. I hope somebody played the clip to the prisoners of him saying, Oh, they I'll, I'll put some money on his books. <laughs> huh? There's no way in hell I would have said go to the police. That's. Was it a stand your ground state? Yeah, it was a stand your ground state, but Florida is a stand your ground state. He wasn't standing in his ground. He, what, went, he, he went to his back into his console and got out his gun. Yeah. Nobody yeah. had a gun at him. He thought that there was a rifle in the back seat. There was nothing. That, it wasn't even an umbrella in there mm -mm. that he could he thought, disconstrue as one. The kid that was killed had a cell phone in his hand, nothing else. A cell phone. That's it. Oh, let me so talk. sad. I can't. Uh, said yeah, hey, Ray Ray. To stand your ground, but no zigzag meant there's no way in hell she wouldn't have said, "Look, we need oh. to call the police." It meant that you know right. it, that's bullshit. Call the police. That, that said, why didn't you call the police? And they said, "Well, we got a new puppy, Charlie." <laughs> And he had told her on the ride to the hotel what he had done. Yeah, but he never once said they had a weapon. Never one time did he tell that there was a weapon. He never told his girlfriend that. So if you just thought somebody pointed a gun at you, would you not have said they pointed a gun at me and I shot him? Are you for us? Am I for? No, you you are. Uh, what'd you say now? I said never one time did he say to her had they had a weapon. He never said that to her. Uh uh. And then she got on stand and told on him. My cat Diesel just said it. Stand your ground law is a law that authorizes a person to protect and defend one's own life and limb against threat or perceived. I'm probably going to be freezing because am I froze or is she froze? nobody, you know, raised an arm out of a window. They rolled down a window. That was it. And if he was threatened by a window rolling down, then he needs help. I think that he was looking for a fight. I think he was drunk and cocky and he was looking for a fight. But then when yeah. he realized, uh oh, I'm about to get my ass beat. He was not being threatened, exactly. Not at all. We have a stand your ground law here, too, in Mississippi. We also have an open um, uh, open carry oh, where anybody they, can openly they, carry. With they said you're the one freezing. I'm surprised it's not. Maybe it's coming up a storm. Oh, am I the one freezing? Ugh, and I restarted my computer. It's supposed to rain here, but it, it doesn't look bad out there. It's still blue skies. Oh, wow, too, and stuff. That's crazy. Driving while black. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It um, but that's why you hear so many people say, "I'm afraid for my life." I, they think if they say that, though, they think if they say that and somebody hears it, that gives them permission to kill somebody. No, you can't just yell that out and kill somebody. Right. Right. Can you hear that thunder? Uh-uh. It's two days in a row. It's just come out of nowhere. It's supposed to rain here 
it, well, it was supposed to rain here today. It never did. And it's supposed to rain uh, here tomorrow, but it, you never know. They'll blow up and then they'll go away. But I, and I felt so bad for his parents, but I went and I, um, I stalked his dad's Facebook and his dad is doing a whole lot of um, speeches and public speaking. His mom is running for something. You know, they, they've, they've went out there. He had a really good parent. Beautiful though. I mean, you know, his mom broke my heart. Yes. Absolutely broke my heart. She said was what happened to Jordan. She knew. Yeah. She knew if something had not happened. Um, did you and say that's their only child for yeah. each of them? Did you say where there's going to be somebody brought up George Zimmerman? There's going to be a um, docu series on that on the Trayvon Martin thing. Really? When is that? I forgot. I'll have to go back and try to find it on a uh, Twitter. Yeah, his mom, his parents, both his parents are strong. Yeah, Trayvon um, parents got in touch with uh, them. Well, I guess y'all saw that. She's right here in the league. Karma stalks B dub. And is on her tippy toes, ready to leave at any minute. It's pitiful. I said, "What is she going to do when we're home every day? She's going to go crazy. Yeah, she's going to think she's going to have to go to Walmart every day." I don't. I I don't know. I, I could. I think I could shoot somebody, but I would have to be really like fearing for my kids or something. Uh, that was something when I went to get my advanced carry uh advanced concealed carry permit um it's like a i went to a three-day course and uh they said don't ever ever pull your gun out if you don't expect to pull the trigger because if if you don't they'll take it from you and um i've often said um i i, I don't know what i would do in that situation i would hope and pray that I would pull the trigger and never look back. But, you know, I don't know what I would do. I've never been in that knock on wood. I've never been in that kind of situation. Ash, I, I think I, I want to watch this before I talk about it. But I'm all I'm going to say about George Zimmerman is this. When the 911 person said, do not follow him, he shouldn't have followed him. That, that's, that's right. Well, I do think that he, um, what is it when they uh, put put him into a, a category? What is that called? Yeah. Um, profiling. I think he profiled him as this bad kid, gang kid, whatever they wanted to do. And, um, and he react and he responded on it or reacted to it or whatever. I think that's what that's what happened. Yeah, and I realized that places have been being broken into, but you know what? Okay, they what they had a neighborhood watch. Call the cops. That's all he had to do was call the cops. Right. He didn't have to follow him. Exactly. He made it so much worse. Yeah. Well, you know, they say because he had a hoodie on it. No, I think he killed him. He shot him because he was whooping his ass. No, anybody shot in the back wasn't a threat. What's he going to do? They got to call GSC out. He's stranded out there. He'll call me back. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just a spitball right now. He's like, they That's want to see the goddamn will. I said, well, move the shit for a rinse and the crank and nothing. Right. Got a battery's in his foot. He was just a kid. 
said a man walked there and said there was heaven back in. Don't know because you didn't see for you. You think he profiled him because of the hoodie? I think he profiled him because of the color of his skin. Paul, you need to ride back to the shop. I'm not afraid to own a gun, but what? what? <laughs> Hang on one second. Hey, let me get Jimmy Bain his food. Hang on one second. Jenny has three Dobermans. That's what Ooh. I want next. No. I saw Doberman. I was like, that's what I want. I either want another Rottweiler or a Doberman. Exactly, fair. Or a Doberdame. B Dub is stuck on these Doberdames. They are uh, breeding Dobermans with Great Danes. So they've got the height of a Great Dane, but the whatever temperament of a Doberman. Come I am. I'm actually looking them up as we speak. Okay, can y'all see that? That's a Doberdane. I I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. But yeah, let I'm me not... see if y'all can see Jimmy. He's down here eating. Y'all look at him. There's Gemma. Look how big he is. <laughs> say hey, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> Billy said, "We got a Russian boar." <laughs> Somehow, I feel like this one is not a Doberdame. That somebody mixed it up. I know the ears look like a great name. I do is. too, Patrice. I love him. I, I miss him being small, but I think that's why so many people that get pigs end up getting rid of them. Because they get so big so quick, which he is, um, he's over six months old now. So he is huge. And <laughs> remember when he was like this little, he, yeah. I could one hand him. Now I can't pick him up at all. He is rotten, rotten to the core. Loves his belly rubbed. I mean, just, oh, he's crazy. I know he's huge. Jim and Sky Ruger. I love, I love that name Ruger. Oh, so we bought when we had our um, what do we have? The one that got it doesn't matter the skin color if you don't want to be considered that. Don't carry yourself, and it, don't, it that's right. It don't matter the skin color. Zigzag has a Doberman and a Great Dane. I'm jealous. He used the litter box, Mary. Sadly, they're gone now. Uh, it, you, uh, it's so hard getting close. Get rid of one, two, three, four more. <laughs> yes, he used the litter box. And he, but he goes outside a lot now with the dogs. Every time they go out, he goes out. But he'll still use the litter box. I think minding your own business is is huge. I, okay, we all know I work the drive through window. A couple, few times, somebody will pull up with their radio really loud. I don't ask them to turn it down. It, do I think it's rude? Yes. Do I think it's their car? Absolutely. If the order's wrong, it's their fault. said if the order's wrong, it's their fault then. I know. If When I get one, I'm naming it Piggy Smalls. Blue Great Dane. My sister used to have a Blue Great Dane. Oh, he was beautiful. They're hard to come by, though. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, she, how many times you scoop the litter box? Twice a day? Um... I actually empty it out completely once a day. I don't know why I said scoop. It's not like he's well, a kid. In the beginning, I only had to do it like twice a week. And uh, when he was so small, well, now, hell, he pees a river. And it's those, uh, what are those things called? Cedar chips. And so what it does is it kind of, when water gets on, they expand. And it, it's easy to scoop out, though. It's not like litter. He don't want you to mess with his food. He'll bite karma. 
And B Dub won't leave him alone. He's over there trying to eat, and B Dub's messing with him, and he's gone biting. Keep on. Do pigs poop pellets or piles? Does he, does he put pellets or piles? Pellets? Huh? Does he put pellets or piles? He poops pellets. It's, but they're round. He it's, poops it's round actually, balls. It's piles of pellets. It, B Dub says it's actually piles of pellets. <laughs> piles of pellets. That, that's better. <laughs> They are, Jenny. We've had two. We had a great game when our kids were really small. She lived to be 10, and then we got an English Mastiff, and then we got Karma, and Karma is four now. So we'll we'll have her for a few more years, hopefully. Sammy, I love, say I love me a blue great name. I respect and dignity. They just don't live long, and it's so hard. Jamie Kay's respect and dignity. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I ain't saying a word. Welcome to the chat. Thank you, Mary. I love him. Uh, me and both of my girls, we all three have pigs. And my youngest one's pig is still real small. So me and my oldest one, we had gone to the fireworks on July 4th and we were talking because yeah. her pig is every bit as big as Jim and Dean is. And I said, I think we got jet. I think ours are, they're huge. And, but my youngest ones is still really small. And he is, um, three months old. Doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, hey this yeah, girl, Jim Johnny, she came on um, panel the other night and talked a little bit about herself. Oh, well, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm B. Good. Even though everybody loves your commentary in the background. I don't. I know that's what you do, but B, I don't. B, B completes me. <laughs> do you remember the card last year that B-Dub gave me on our anniversary? Yes. Hey, Steph. He just said it again. He said, okay. you have the opportunity coming up to opt out. He says that every year on our anniversary, he gives me the chance to get out. 29 well, good years, we call it good. 29 good years. We can call it good, call it even. I said, I have a thing for odd years, so you'll have to wait. You got me another year, so I may do it at 30. You passed up on even. <laughs> you didn't even make the counter off. Kimberly. Oh, he's so weird. I... That's right. That he may be Jenny. And it's all the same breeder that we got them from. Same, you know, everything. It was just they all are different. Like, Jim and Dean is, is considered pink, but he's got those black spots. And then my oldest one's, hers is black with white. And then, um, <laughs> and then, uh, my youngest daughter's pig is what is he like gray with black spots he's real cute he's still a little bitty thank you steph i feel good i feel really good just crazy uh, busy right now i don't think jim would give me the option of opting out right now because i might i might opt out for a while okay so, Jose. for a while uh -huh. she said for a while no, for a while. <laughs> no, he couldn't live without me. He like he talks big. Yeah, he only so wash his own drawers. Damn, I mean, so Thank sweet. you, Blanche. It's such a sweet deal. I never get a counter offer. Hey, Pam. <laughs> <Give me an laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Look at that name, Blanche <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> this is why I hate going live with him here because he won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> STFU. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad, how are you doing? Hey, Pam, say. <laughs> Repeat what you just said. Y'all listen to this. This is how much B Dev knows about YouTube. Repeat what you said. I'm gonna be quiet. Because I've had to listen to that goddamn mama bear. <laughs> 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 He said, 
that he feels like he's digressed 10 years from listening to that GD mama bear all day. <laughs> I'm borderline fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tell me that Randy don't listen to that crazy motherfucker all day. <laughs> yeah. God damn, there's two of y'all dumb motherfuckers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> If I have ever, oh ever, yes, we're staying. Which I absolutely refuse to get in the conversation. Said they'd have your commentary. <laughs> I refuse to get in a conversation about her. But if I have ever in my life been stabbed hard in the back, I got the knife. I'm telling that knife is in my backbone. It's in my bone. Yeah, well, the thing uh, she'll never say. What a good friend you are. You were. Exactly, Stephanie. If y'all keep watching her, y'all gonna be goddamn <laughs> You hush, I was having us friendship bracelets made, B dub. You just don't know. <laughs> she was having friendship bracelets made with the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know y'all watch that shit. It I is the entire time. <laughs> he does, but she makes me turn it off. Stephanie. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't the <laughs> Swimsuits don't bother me. The flirting, all that, nothing bothers me. What bothers me when she calls me names, and we used to have such good talks, and I've That's never called her a name. <laughs> I try to Texas. I try, but you know what? Lesson learned. There will be no coming back. Yeah, that I think it's just gone too far now. Because no, there'll be he, no coming back from this. Yeah, Her she's old Randy. enough to, yeah, call, her, call Randy a noodle. Hey, Sunbury Housewives, you need to check your P.O. box. There's, there's nothing coming out of my bear's mouth is logical. <laughs> he said there's nothing coming out of her mouth is logical. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, Zigzag. Oh, oh Lacey. Well, and yeah. it's just sad oh, that she doesn't oh, realize and... what what friend she had. Welcome is, home. I, and I, I can still, I could probably find some good in her, but no, 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 I'm out on that. I'm out. No. I will zigzag. Hang on. I'll do it right now. I can't Be find it. it. I looked at perception, which say absence of pride. Yeah. Is it uh, okay. zigzag? Is it under zigzag? I know I follow you. I thought I did too. Follow me, and then I'll follow no. you back. Or you already no. follow me. But, Bobby, there, uh, there'll be no coming back. When you stab me that hard, you don't get to come back. Yeah, it should have got there yesterday. Because what I did is I just went ahead and ordered another one and just had it sent straight from Amazon to you. Because I don't know why I thought to send it to me and then me send it to you. That was stupid. That's right. You follow both, okay. It, did she say it was under zigzag? I don't know. Mm. I, I thought I know you follow me. Is it under zigzag? Here it is. Blue Great Dane. Can y'all see it? Oh my gosh. Hey that Tammy Sully. Beautiful. Hi, Tammy. Absolutely beautiful. Lacey said you're not far from her. Y'all need you'll have to go by and pick Thank her you, ass babe. up. Come down here. Oh, I'm glad somebody. Hi, Tiffany. A long time no see. I know, Lacey. Isn't that crazy? Hey, dear. Thank you, this Absolutely. girl's friend. That's the best idea. Hello, hello. Tammy Sully, how are you? How's Montana treating you? How's Montana? Seriously, though, I mean, I can't imagine moving all the way up there. I would love to go. I I'd think, be scared to death. I'm just not that brave. 
in the movie uh -huh. and Dove, they were traveling thousands of miles on horseback to get to Montana. She is such a weirdo. Do you know she asked me when we first started talking, have you ever seen the movie Lonesome Dove? Well, fuck no, I have not. And she I thinks it's weird. Seen it. It's weird that you haven't seen it. She thinks it's weird that I haven't seen it. Have you ever seen it? Yes. Be to have seen it. Let's just say that you don't necessarily watch things that watch. He said, I don't necessarily watch things that he would watch. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the cool club would watch. Tammy ain't missed nothing. Just me and B Dub arguing the whole time. <laughs> Make sure you post pictures that zigzag. I don't know. I bet it's beautiful. See, zigzag. We did that when with our first great Dane. Um, we did because uh, our girls were small, and so she had to go trick or treating with them, and she had her little head thing on and something around her neck always. And um. Yeah, the dog mind a lot better than the kids. Oh, you're not in that kid anymore. Where are you at? Where's she at? Where See, you at? I can't keep up. I miss too much, y'all. Right. He's in Texas. Oh, hell, Tammy. <laughs> it must be nice. I want. Damn, I can't keep up with shit. I thought you was in Montana. No, she used to live down close to Jackson. That's the one that lived close to Jackson. And then she went to. Alabama and then Florida and then to Montana and Ashton, Texas. How fun is that? I want to do that, but in an RV. I want to buy an RV, beat yes. up the tire, and us hit the road with our pig, our cats, and our dogs. <laughs> and your Randy. Zigzag, we did the same thing. We cropped our first Great Dane's ears too. We won't do it again. <laughs> I can't take him anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hand, you know, close to the mute button just in case. <laughs> I know. For some reason, I'm nervous. <laughs> we don't trust him now. Jim, Jim needs to be standing close to Randy. He's trying to light that shit up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, sounds like a reality show. <laughs> you, you two don't have a five second delay. Thank God. Tammy, I'm Did telling they, you. How how uh how far are you from Memphis, Zigzag? That's where I live. I live right outside of Memphis. But in North Mississippi. Oh, see, Tiffany, I would love that. See, there's some I, I get though what you're saying. Some days good, some not. I would um South of, oh my gosh, we so need to meet up. Ash lives close to Little Rock. There's a bunch of us. Uh, Kimberly Shiari, she only lives about 45 minutes to an hour from me, and our asses still can't get together. When I'm sick, she's well. When I'm well, she's sick. We can't get together. We can't get our health together. I'm wanting to take Kim out for her uh, birthday. That was this week, but I'm. she's got to get better first, and then we're going to hit the town. Poor old B. She's got a port. <laughs> and old B Dub threatens to thump it. <laughs> he does. He threatens <laughs> to thump her in the port. <laughs> <laughs> that day I was on the phone with Rainy and you said she said something about my port and you said, I'll thump that damn port. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Lord God, we use it for everything. <laughs> That's my excuse for everything. <laughs> I use it too at my house. Jim's like, do you go to work there? I'm like, no, B has a port. He was using my port yeah, as an excuse. Yeah, I'm breaking the lead because B has a, a port. No, she calls me B. She'll B call me by my B name. Uh, Zigzag, you're only three and a half hours from me. Now that's ridiculous. Somebody, I forgot y'all right now. See, I think everybody. Stop huh? it. Spin a thunder. Oh, yes, I really know. I still got to go talked, meet her. No, you're not meeting her. She talked crap on me, I reckon. No, she did not. It's did her, she? I, if, if I haven't listened to it yet. They said at the end of her stream. Yeah, Evelyn. At the end of her stream, she said, you know, Randy said that um, maybe we could do a live stream together, but it just sounds fishy to me. What about that? 
Tammy, sounds fishy to you. <laughs> you know I'm setting you up for your knowledge of Feldman? <laughs> the failed fam. Don't get it twisted, girl. Don't get it twisted. That kind of hurt my feelings. And um, oh, you're so not, you're not you, you uh, spirit right. finder. The yep, the feelers are out. B Dub said, What is that with Randy? Could she not get along with others? <laughs> I do not play well with others. <laughs> That's right, I'm Evan. Since you're located and B Dub can be your entertainment. <laughs> I, reckon, I always say that, Sandra. And Tammy Sully, I got to ask you this because I've been doing some stuff. I I have learned how to build your channel because you read tarot cards. If you will read the tarot cards of dead celebrities, they get those get millions of hits. Do they really? Yeah. Tammy, you're gonna have to forgive Randy. She has been on a week long tarot card obsession. Surely you can, Vicky. I thought I did, and I, me and me and Spirit Finder go back years. But Bodie, I will give you his number, and you can call him anytime, and he will get you tickled. He is funny though. Give you one uh, XXX Tentacion. Read, do XXX Tentacion. Uh, you'll have to look up his real name right now. That's getting millions of views. Monetize that sucker and get it out there. B Dub just said that if you come here and tell Randy again, tell her what she those fucking Ouija board shit. He said, if you get into them Ouija boards, you're right off. <laughs> you're out of the wheel. <laughs> Lisa, I'm not allowed to have one. I had tarot cards and Jim threw them away. <laughs> she had tarot cards and Jim threw them away. <laughs> <laughs> I bought him at an auction. <laughs> <laughs> but they, it's getting a lot of cards. Tarot cards and Ouija boards are for the week, Mike. But I mean, the way that Tammy delivers it and she can explain it, I think that she could do well with this. Exactly. Well, she, the explanation of it to me makes a huge difference. Oh, the chair cords? Mm hmm. No. Yeah. You know me, I'd be like, this one's got an umbrella. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. rain. It means it's gonna rain. Get your ass inside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, this is a debate in this house. I won't debate it because I won't win with Jim because he'll start throwing out my verses. I won't win with B-Dub either. Jim's got some goddamn sense. <laughs> I want to read one, I don't know, and have a fact check or two. I'll tell you what, do um I'll be your fact checker. On some of them, I don't, I don't, not like I know all of them, but if you could do like Kaylee Anthony, um, oh, get John Bonet to say her brother did not do it. And furthermore, I want a written apology from B. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> Oh, that was even so funny. <laughs> I got to say, handwritten, hand delivered. He does that he's never got a written apology. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. A hateful thing. Oh, get John Bonet to tell us who did it. <laughs> Did you hear what B-Dub said? He said he's never gotten a written apology, so good luck getting one out of me. I'm never getting one either. Uh, other than that, he yes. has recorded me a couple of times saying, you were right, I was wrong. <laughs> it is a small world after all, Zigzag. I swear, it's crazy. The more people that I meet that are close, it's like, dang it, I just want to take a day and meet up for lunch. Well, I Jen, Jen, she lives so close to me that she could be at my house in like 15 minutes. Isn't it crazy? 
Yeah. I, I know my problem is I'm just lazy. That's my problem. <laughs> See, I don't like to leave my house. And people think that's a problem. I, I think that that is normal. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been thinking about her, and I was going to message her, and I thought, man, this is going to come out so weird. Oh, yeah, subscribe to Tammy Soley. Oh, I would like to. Janie's neat. Really, Lynn? I like Paula, too, somebody. I like them. I like her really well. Yeah, we are staying sick from the weather. Is it right? I do. Once I get home, I hate to leave. Me too. So yeah. many in Texas too. There's so many people in Texas. You're welcome, Tammy. The way I mean, when she read mine and the way she was talking to me, I'm just like, <laughs> I want to live with Tammy. Oh, that yeah, that's that's kind of far, but not too bad. She is Patrice. I love her. Where's Jim? Usually some place where you need to be. I think I'm going to just start throwing my shoes off and hit me. Oh, I love what? Louisiana. I, I didn't know you lived there, Debbie. I, uh, my nephew, when my brother's know. wife and him divorced, she remarried and they moved to Monroe, Louisiana. And uh, when my nephew was still small, we would have to drive there and go pick him up every other weekend. Because even after my brother died, we would go get him. Hey, Johnny B. And um, I love it. I love I'm, I love New Orleans, but it's one of those things that it's a it's a fun weekend trip. But I wouldn't want to live there. Mm -mm. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Yes, I've seen her on there too, Paula. And she was, um, she's got her own channel too. And um, just some of her stories fascinate me. I can, I can listen to her stories and they shock me. Carla lives in Southern Louisiana. Lafayette Thank is. You, where was that that you had to go in Louisiana yeah. a few times? Lake, Lake Charles. Charles. That's. A bunch. Yeah, he's had to go there on his job several times. Right, Evelyn. Right. So yeah. she told me that I need to get find a job with someone from my youth and or that I've known for a really, really long time. And I'm still stuck on that every time. I think about it all the time. I um I think about what I'm going to do after the shop. Me too. Did we ring your bell? Blue Rider, you're probably, he's over here dying laughing. <laughs> oh, don't y'all. I got to tell y'all a funny story about work, and I hope to God they're not watching this. I got, this is so funny. We got this one girl, and I'm not going to say her name. She's in management. Me too, she, Dewey. So, I'm gonna say that. Go ahead. Sorry. She's so dramatic. She is so dramatic. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> This is how important these things are to these people, okay? This one girl who I, I love, she did not, she, she put down French fries and did not hit the timer. So this manager, this girl in management, starts going crazy. She's like, you got to get the timer. You got to hit the timer. And um, so then the girl that didn't hit the timer gets smart. And she's like, you know what? I feel like if you're such a professional, you don't need to hit the timer. <laughs> so then the dramatic girl, she starts stomping off because she said, I'm going to write her up. And when she swung around, she hit the guy, this guy that was working the grill. She hit him between the legs. <laughs> I was like, y'all know that we're not running Nissan, right? This is French fries. <laughs> How does Randy not deal with all the soft targets? Because there's probably a lot. What do you mean? Like what she just said. 
If she if rolls her eyes and keeps going. If I was standing there, you know what would be rolling out. I, I wouldn't be able to stop. It'd be like a fucking waterfall. And then he said, how do, you, how do you deal with that? He said, hey, they, the words would be rolling out. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> you I, was, you know, I told my friend, I said, she's so dramatic. I said, what is the big deal? It's and I don't know. It's fries, know. sister. It's fries. And I don't even call them fries. I'm like, y'all got the frizzles? Because, you know, I'm stupid. And I'm like, <laughs> all this over frizzles. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> A lot of people live in North Carolina, Terry. I tell you, every time I turn around, there's another one from North Carolina. There's a bunch of people. I want to go to Cherokee. I think that we need to go to Cherokee. Is and that spend a city the night. too, or is it just a casino? No, it's, I think it's a city, and you can go to these reservations and get at one with the earth. We need to get long, floppy skirts. I, go down, and go clean the grass off and lay in the dirt. <laughs> you just hit me up. Shut B W. You're not invited. <laughs> What the fuck is she talking about? Getting in, <laughs> getting, <laughs> getting one with the earth. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> we can get like peace pops or whatever. <laughs> get peace pops. <laughs> There's real Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> he said you lost your shit. <laughs> Not that far from me. <laughs> Thanks about four hours. Can y'all imagine seeing us all out there? Um. Yes. <laughs> Timber, she just Timber's been back about two weeks. When she comes back, she'll spend a week in Cherokee, and um, when she comes back, she'll burn sage and burn all this stuff. The house is stinking for for a good month. Can you imagine to be in Randy's God. awesome adventures? Can you? We would be in so much trouble. First of all, we'd be broke in the first couple of days because we both waste money on stupid shit. <laughs> we would buy every charm bracelet necklace known to man if it meant that our life was fixing to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bad spirit around you. You need this. Say, I'm about that. We just and we will all go to Graceland. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, thank you, Carrie. That's sweet. It is uh P Dub is uh, second think or thinking twice about our friendship. Yes, Lens, we will camp, oh. but it'll have to be in the fall because it's too damn hot in the summer. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Um, Karma. You want to say something pathetic? Look at this dog. Karma in B Dub's lap. Is that not pathetic? Trying to get in his lap in the chair. Pathetic. She does that all the time. Tries to get in his lap. Come here, show him your face. Come I on. used to be show a tour guide zigzag at Graceland when I was in nursing school. Shut up. I'm proud of my job. Come here. <laughs> You'll have to, Jenny, because Lord knows she don't get off the a two lane highway. But no, I don't. Look at this perfect face. Look. Oh. That's a scruffy, a scruffy Joe. Yeah. No, I have not told anybody. Shut your mouth. He's talking dirty over here, y'all. He does oh. want to be a co-host, Evelyn, and he is. He there's not room for three. This is a party of two, damn it. But I want to be a secondary. Yes, somebody. We are. We are a lot alike. I really do think if we got an RV, we can make millions on YouTube. <laughs> It's like in a ghost park. It's okay to dream. It's okay to dream. <laughs> Did you just hear what Randy said? She said, if we got an RV and went on tour, me and B can make millions of you too. <laughs> okay. He said some stupid shit I see on RVs. You're probably right. 
<laughs> Beat up Chronicles. That's right, Lens. I swear. Yeah. This, has he shut up this whole time? No. I mean, did he shut it's up? Okay, no. <laughs> Randy and B's Adventures. That's what we need to take a few weeks a year and rent an RV, see how much it is, <laughs> and just see. I've been watching Shane Dawson a lot and I'm inspired. His dad lives in an RV at an RV park. I'm going to be living in one when we sell this house and while we're building. Don't you threaten me, boy. <laughs> I forgot about that. Else we're going to, we don't know what we're going to do. We could be YouTube famous. It could be RambiCon instead of TanaCon. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, she's so weird. This is the shit that I deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> I'm sure we got people begging. There, we have exactly, a Sandra. Be quiet, you <laughs> 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 um, My nose Fem is Louise. Louise. <laughs> Fem and Louise. Oh, that is so funny. Lord help us, though. We would get in some kind of trouble. Hey, Ufta, you sweet thing. Please do it. As soon as, oh, Randall Khan, as soon as they quit living in the RV, me and B's taking on the road. We're going to put our faces on it, the side. It, now it's going to be a toy hauler, you know, one of those uh, camper that you can put like either a four wheeler, motorcycle, whatever in the back, pulled by our dually. Can y'all see me driving? A camper with the big ass dually across the United States. I will take out every road sign. There will be no car that's safe because I'll take them out too. I, I'm I can drive those big RVs though. I learned how to drive them when we were repairing them. Maybe somebody won't pick up their RV and you'll have one that would There's a nice one at the shop right now, I'm telling you. We've uh -huh. repaired Floor though it's real it's got heated floors and everything girl a motorcycle with a sidecar with the goggles on <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be going by the 18 wheelers you'd be going <laughs> <laughs> We're so weird. So weird. The bad thing is I'm getting excited over stuff that's never going to happen. I'm like, oh, wait, we're going to do this. We are. <laughs> you know, right down the street from the shop used to be a, the, well, the, the shop is still there, but they used to rent out RVs for the week. And I don't know what he used to charge for them, but um, whatever happened to them, it was his ex-wife that was doing it. <laughs> yeah, I think she went out His ex wife went out of business. <laughs> she said, she she said give Linda some problem. symbols and she can clank those as you go. And then for some reason, I'm just picturing her. Just <laughs> Is that you, Jimmy? Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> like Dumb and Dumber. Yes. <laughs> Lloyd. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we love you, too. <laughs> they dub would have to drive because I I'm scared of driving. They she drives too fast. Randy's scared to drive over fucking 45 miles an hour anyway. Hey, scared to drive over 45 miles an hour anyway. <laughs> 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 Donate to my GoFund. Ting, ting. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Oh, my. Oh, that's so funny. Jim can ride shotgun. Jim would not go. Jim would say, yeah, I'll just go have a good time. Oh, you know, their asses would be up front. We'd be in the back. They'd throw us to the back. So we wouldn't oh, be yeah. sure. <laughs> the whole time I'm in a vehicle, if I'm not running my mouth, I'm asleep. There's no okay. in between. <laughs> Me too. Now, I'm taking the box asleep. On yeah. our way to Alabama, when we went there third Sunday in May for the reunion, 
um, mother-in-law was in the front and me and my oldest daughter and the grandbaby was in the back. So uh, I guess I slept on the way home. I didn't sleep on the way there though. Or did I? I can't remember. Uh, on, but let me tell y'all this story. That's right. The mother-in-law, we had already been to Alabama, drove there, you know, two and a half hours. We only got to stay there a little bit over an hour because she freaked out, right? So then we turned around and came back home. We are 45 minutes from home, and the baby says something. Hey, Ufta. Hey, Marie. Um, says something in the background, and she looks over at B-Dub and says, did you hear a baby? And he said, well, yeah. She's been here the whole time. She looks around in the back seat and said, when did y'all get here? We had been with her for the previous four <laughs> or five hours. <laughs> I was like, dear God, this is our life. <laughs> Did she mention you today, Ash? Shame. She told B, she said, I don't know who hired you, but they need to fire you. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'll get them right on that. After they give me a check, damn it. Thank you, Sarah Patch. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sarah Patch. That's so sweet. Can that, I, I swear, if I thought we could, I wa I've watched many RVers that just stop everything and get on the road. And um, obviously they have to have a saving, you know, to start Daddy with. Meyer. But people do it all the time. Hey, Diddy Meyer, people do it all the time and make it and make a living off of it and do well. But I'd be scared to death. What would be fun is if we could get y'all. We need Diane on this. I don't know where Diane is. Me and you need to go on the road and we need to do like the jo odd jobs like furlough and out. then a go fund because he's stressed. Huh? I think I'm froze. No, you're not. I'm not froze. Okay. I'm like, what a weirdo. He's going to get a go fund because he's stressed and a Patreon. How the hell does he know anything about a Patreon? I just watched some of these other videos. <laughs> B-Dub -Dub said he's getting a Patreon? Yeah, he said he's going to get a Patreon and go on the road and then, what do you say? A GoFund go because he's stressed. I'm stressed. I've got some kind of discipline. <laughs> After. Diane. Oh, up, thank you. Up to, up to $99.99 uh, towards up, Randy and B's first adventures. RVs are great fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, can you imagine? We would get in. First of all, the RV wouldn't come back in one piece. Did they make a 3,000 square foot RV? <laughs> B-Dub said, did they make a 3,000 square foot RV? What did they say? I'm going to need a fucking double trailer. Who? I thought I saw Katie in here. After that was very, very sweet. Can you imagine, yeah. though? We would be, and then, oh, Randall would have to deal with my craziness for a few days. Oh, my God. Oh. already has to deal with it. He, he knows to just walk away. If, you know what? I have a you, feeling that I could have worse than B -dub. You probably do. Kimberly, you just want to go to Destin, Florida. I, I Have you never been there, Kimberly? When you get better, I'm telling you, we will, uh, I'll take you. Go to the off, off months. Do, like the off months, like starting in October. That's when we usually go is in October. That is the best time to go. Hey, somebody's got a good idea. A small van RV. You know, like Elvis. We could be like Elvis. We you already know? are like Elvis, you know. Yeah. Elvis travels, you know. The right. dude that's got the van RV that go that drives everywhere. Oh, I thought you meant the real Elvis. Bad carpet and everything. No, the, uh, the, the YouTube Elvis. YouTube or Elvis. I think we should go around and find different jobs and do that and make money. And never a beach that uh, I said the right thing, make money. That's right. Me and Jim need an early retirement option. B W says him and Jim need an early retirement option. Yeah. 
the because, possibility look at two, two and Steph said tattoos sweat lodges bingo halls casinos the possibilities are endless endless <laughs> that is the best comment ever love it <laughs> camper van elvis yes karen camper van elvis is that his, the name of his channel hey robin yes camper van elvis that's him just driving through. I mean, he was in Florida for a long time. Then he went up north to Chicago. I don't know where he's at now. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, Shell, if it doesn't have at least five, six cameras, I can't back them up. Because I, I still want to look over my shoulder. I've backed them up. But they've all had a camera on them. Yeah, but you backed up some fucking stupid expensive shit before. With your help, though. I've always had you as my guide. We got one customer that his RV is, um, it costs three quarters of a million dollars. And we've repaired it, I don't know, three or four times. And I've had to drive it and back it up, scared to death that I'll wreck it. So his channel's name is, oh, Booker says, I think he's in jail, B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Booker. <laughs> Damn it. Same no wonder why I ain't seen him. I thought I heard a little something about that on Benny's channel. Don't let B drive an RV. <laughs> yeah, I love that Destin for Walton. We used to go to Fort Walton all the time, and then um, our, our um, timeshare thing we always stay at sun destin and that is it's probably one of our most favorite places to stay and it's right on the beach hey willow sage <coughs> oh pizza sounds good we gotta go get dinner too do, still doing fireworks see our great dane is scared to death of the fireworks Ooh. lightning I mean, thunder and fireworks just i've had to get up four times and shut it Elvis travels. Is he really in jail though? He had he did get arrested for something though. I remember that though. And his van got towed, didn't it? And didn't um, it get towed in or something? I remember seeing that. We might be able to buy it cheap at a, a place auction then. B Dub's got the hookup on the auctions. B Dub, we need a traveling van. You hear that? We need, we need a traveling van. Y'all need a traveling van like I need a medical. So if it if one comes through the repo, man, you need to get the hook up for us. No, no Kayla. When is Skeeter's live? Oh. I thought it was eight tonight. Who's live? Skeeter. What'd she say? Skeeter jerking. Hey, Marla. Thank you. It's just been crazy busy. Once the shop is gone and it settles down, I, I will be busy here at the house, but um, it'll, it'll be, you know, I'll be able to do more. She's beautiful. Is that her with the brown hair? Have you heard her talk? Who? Uh, Witty Widow. Widow. Uh-uh. She I had. So. She. I know she her was on. Is very pretty. Yeah, well, she's on Skeeter's Live right now, which we'll have to get out. You know, go and uh, let the them be people. live. Yeah, but um, she has her accent is like New Jersey British. Really. She yeah. travels a lot, doesn't she? I don't know. But her dad was British, and they she married a guy that was British, and she lived in England or something. Yeah. He goes live on Chicago van life. Oh, my gosh, I've got to look that up. I didn't know he was on that one. Hey. Damn, he gets a new channel every other month, I swear. Oh, Elvis. Hey. He goes so live he on Chicago van life. Is he Did still I telling everybody that they pay their taxes to him? Yeah, Billy, it'll we'll we'll leave it up. 
Yeah. You'll have to forgive my husband's in the background with his commentary the entire time. <laughs> And I told him to go in the other room, and then he sits down in here. Billy Lala. That's my my mom's uh, name is Billy, also. You know what my mom's name was? Linda. That's right. That's right. You t yeah, that's right. You tell me that, Kimberly. He is something else. He is always that way, though. That's why I always tell I do compliment him a lot because he is a good guy. I mean, obviously, he that's why is. I married him. But he's such a he's su he's just good to everybody. He he's really, really is really good at being a human. Exactly. What, yeah. You know, he sees both sides of things. And yes, Jenny, I love them. If nobody has watched Grandma and Ginga, the two little old ladies that cuss each Love other them. out, y'all are missing out on life. They, Jenny had told me about them and I had remembered seeing them, but I was not following them. I'd re, I, I think somebody had shared them on Facebook is how I'd seen them. They are so funny. Yes, he does, Marla. He's driving me crazy too. Now he said he's going to get him a Patreon and go on the road. He's going to tour too. Not with me though. And I saw Look, where you you commented on um pop watch on facebook yeah well uh my oldest had tagged us and said does this not look like b-dub in 20 years did you see her comment no i didn't and i meant to comment under hers because she had tagged me my youngest my youngest boyfriend she had tagged all of us in it and uh, she said that is exactly what her dad <laughs> is going to look like in 20 years. Because that's where B-Dub came from. The girls started calling him that. I love, I love Pop Watch. If Pop there's Watch, it's so I funny. Can... And um, when she looks, she says, she's always trying to make him drink his uh, insure. And he hates it. Yeah. And he always lies and says he's already drank it. <laughs> I love him. Lenny, I think I remember that. And it was like a couple of thousand, wasn't it? They super chatted Elvis and then got a charge back. And then he was like negative in his account. And it was somebody trolling him, which I think is mean, but he's an idiot. <laughs> Marla said she'd sub to your Patreon. The only one she would. <laughs> he is often seen because he watches a lot of uh, YouTubers that like car stuff. Like he loves working and fixing on any kind of cars. And political. And political. He does all that political stuff too. But like they'll have one of those GoPros like on their head. So wherever they're looking, you can see, you know, they're filming it. And um, never any drama. They're just working on stuff. And they are making a fortune on YouTube. It, he said when we get out in God's country, he's going to do it. Y'all, that will be, all I can say is he'll it'll have to be 18 and above because his mouth is worse than mine. What? Well, y'all, I guess we'll get off here and go support Skeeter because I thought he was going live at 8. Well, we've been on for almost two hours. Yeah. What is our next case? Um, I don't know. Who was that? Um, we don't talk politics, Scarlett. Uh, there was one that I wrote down, um, but I couldn't find anything. I remember I was telling you that family that was murdered like almost 20 years ago and the, the little boy survived and his grandmother is a chiropractor. It's the Ryan R Y E N family murders. It's from 83, but I didn't find much on it, but it, that was a good case, but they found the killer on it, but it was real controversial and they just now did like the DNA on it to confirm that it was him. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find something. Then Scarlet, yeah, yeah. Keep your ears out and your eyes. We'll tweet it. We'll find something good. We'll Everybody something. go over and support Skeeter. 
we got to come back up with the Jana's uh, something else for them to do too. Absolutely. I love the call in thing. I, I had so much that fun that fun. night. That even was fun. Out, even, you know, that didn't even bother me. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're going to go. Thank y'all for joining us. We had, I had so much fun. It was fun tonight. Thank y'all for coming in. We never stay on topic. Y'all know how it is. But we, we saw the one case one. He's a racist piece of crap that deserves to be where he's at. It does exactly. That's exactly. Needs to have his ass beat every day. It's Skeeter Jerkins, uh, Patrice. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to link his channel in here or that live stream. I like him. Uh, huh? Okay, it's Skeeter Jerkins is his channel. I have to thank you again. That was sweet, Carrie. Thank you again. Up to thank you very much. John is playing a road trip. Can you imagine us with all that damn makeup rolling up <laughs> into the gas station? Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> thank you. Love you all. And there's we'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all. There's the channel, y'all. Take care. See y'all later. <laughs>